Yeah, I think we didn't really talk about Saturn um, because it's kind of in the same place as it was last year, you know. But for Pisces, it's really important because Saturn is still in Pisces. And when Saturn's in your sign, you're really building yourself for the next 28 years. So um, kind of a big deal. It was a big deal last year. Pisces are probably not real happy right now because of Saturn in there. Saturn does tend to restrict because you're in a building process. So, and it almost seems, you know, when Saturn's in your sign, it almost seems unattainable, <laughs> but it's meant to be like that because like something good doesn't come out of easy. You know what I mean? Like it has to be hard in order for you, you have to earn it. So I think a lot of Pisces are not real happy right now, but um, once they do that work, I think that that will pay off for them. Um, when we go into next year, excuse me, when we go into 2025, that's when I think uh, Pisces will start to see the, um, you know, the, the fruits of their labor, but <clears throat> it's going to take a while. And I think that Pluto is going to go into the sign before theirs. And when that happens is there's a, that means there's a lot going on underneath. Um, there's a lot going on that you're not even really aware of because it's your subconscious and it's also your connection to spirit. So there's things happening almost behind the scenes, um, your subconscious, and you, these might come out in your dreams. You could have these really, um, maybe even like disturbing dreams, you know, cause you're purging, um, you're purging anything that is not all in alignment with what you're building. And when I look at the... <clears throat> We also have our first, um, so we also have our first lunar eclipse in Pisces, and that doesn't happen until September seventeenth, twenty twenty four. But that's going to be a whole another start of a cycle too of becoming who you are becoming for the next, you know, how many years? And um, I think, you know, it's 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 a lot for Pisces, but. You know, you think about the person that you, cause you have really have to set yourself up for the next, you know, part of your life, huge part of your life. So this is a very important time for them. Um, Mercury is retrograding 10th house, uh, 3rd house, and 6th house. So definitely a lot to do with your job, probably rethinking your job, uh, rethinking your place in your job probably rethinking the actions you take in your job. Mars is going to retrograde all the way at the end of 2024 in December. Once again, actions in your job, pay attention to, you know, what you're doing, how you're communicating, are people getting you? Um, it's a lot, lot, lot to do with communicating um, for Pisces. And we have the Jupiter Uranus combination in the third house. So if, Pisces are thinking of learning a new skill that is perfect for that. If they're thinking of going on a short trip, um, that is also good for that. Um, so right around April 20th is when we get that combination. Could be, um, you know, like maybe even, I don't know, maybe even a contract. Um, could be good for your sibling, cousins, neighbors, your, um, you know, your whoever's in the neighborhood with you, like the people you contact, um, that something beneficial could come from that, just people you talk with every day. Then later, um, Jupiter's going to move into the fourth house in May, and that might be good for your home. Um, either, you know, you could see yourself moving um, into a new place, or you could just, you know, see yourself kind of making your place nicer so that, you know, it's more enjoyable for you.